Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today I'm going to show you a useful way to remove noise from your image but still retain the beautiful details and textures in your photo. Often when we're using noise removal software, we'll find that when we reduce noise, we also take away some of those details and textures. But there is a way in Photoshop to get around that. Now before we begin, I want to apologize because usually I work really hard to find good example images for my tutorials. But on this occasion, I had to look for photos which were high in noise and where I'd shot multiple exposures. And most of the time I shoot with a low ISO and when I do shoot with a high ISO, the sensor in the D800 is just tremendous and it handles higher ISO really well. So I really struggle to find a good example image. Hopefully you'll see the changes in the video. I'm going to zoom in a lot to show you the before and after. But you might just have to take my word for it that this does work and you can experiment yourself and see how it works. To do this, we need to shoot multiple exposures of the same scene with roughly the same level of brightness. And the reason why we do that, if we just zoom into our image, we can kind of see some noise here. But the noise changes place on each exposure. And that gives us an advantage. So let me show you what I mean. Firstly, we need to select all of these exposures and make sure they're correctly aligned. So Raya Pro users, you can just press auto align all layers. If you're not a Raya Pro user, just go to edit, auto align layers. Once that's done, we go to layer, smart objects and convert to smart object. And you'll see in our layers panel, we've flattened all four layers and placed them into a smart object. To soften the noise, we now go back to layer, smart objects, stack mode, and choose mean. And Photoshop will find the mean value of each pixel. And since the noise moves between images, that means we're gonna have a good chance of finding a mean value of that pixel with less noise. And as you can see, it worked nicely here, or at least I hope you can see that. I'll just show you a quick before and after. This is before we applied mean, and this is after. And hopefully you can see we've made a very big difference. If I just zoom in a little bit more, there's before and after, before and after. And we've still retained the textures in the rocks, before and after. You see, we haven't softened the textures at all. And that's it. That's how we can remove noise and at the same time, retain the detail in our image. And just one final point, this works best if there's no movement between exposures, if you don't have any uh, moving objects, like people walking around or cars moving. So next time you're forced to shoot at a really high ISO, shoot four, five, six exposures, and just bring them into Photoshop, and hopefully you can reduce the noise. And that's it for today, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.